Well, we're still here at Martin Hill ATV Trail, and we're heading back out to the main trail after a trip back up Rattlesnake Road. And uh, this last part of the trail takes us to the end of the trail system on the southwest end. Um, and it's a dead end, but uh, even though it's a dead end, it doesn't disappoint. There's a really nice stretch of scenic trail with a few really cool spots to check out along the way. So along with a couple hiking trails, there were also a few unmarked trails along the way. And uh, there's one coming up here on the left that's not an official ATV trail, but it's a very wide trail. It was cut and maintained um, and it leads somewhere. Um, I'll say when a trailhead looks as inviting as some of these unmarked trails do, it's mighty tempting to want to go down and check out what's down there. Um, it's even worse when there's a sign that says, don't go there. Um, but always remember, stick to the official trails. And here we've come to something very unexpected, a freshly cut field, literally along the ridge of the mountain. And um, when we ride, oftentimes I get this desire to learn about the place that I'm in, whether it be the geology of the region or the, the history of the land or the landmarks on the trails, whatever it may be, I find it exciting to think about you know, what each place used to be and how it became what it is today. A quick check of the park website mentions several pieces of abandoned farmland have now become part of the forest. And I suspect that this might be you know, one of those pieces of farmland. Um, and I kind of want to know kind of all about that history now. Uh, I'm also told there's a really cool dynamite shed uh, in this forest. We've not come across that on any of our trails yet, but hopefully the next time we're up here, we come across that trail.
Well, we've come to the end of the main trail here, uh, coming up next to marker eight. Um, and this is gonna be a dead end. So at this point, we're gonna take a little break and then turn around and head back to the parking lot uh, because we've got to call it a day for this particular trip to Martin Hill. But we really did enjoy our time here today and look forward to exploring the rest of the trails in the coming months. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more from Martin Hill ATV Trail.